All right, we are live on our team call. I am super excited about tonight's topic because it is systems to simplify your business. And I have been really intentional about talking to some leaders on the team, some newer coaches on the team. And there's a general consensus of, I feel like I have to do all the things, right? Or I feel a little burnout and I don't really even know what I accomplished today. So I know we all have felt that way. And what I want to do is just make sure y'all know like the resources that you have in our team page, but also simple things that we can do to go from point A to point B to point C and feel very organized in our business. So whether you are holding down a full-time job or you're a stay-at-home mom with three kids or whatever your situation may be, when you have the time to work your business, I shouldn't say have the time, when you create the time to work your business, you guys know what you're doing and you really know how to flow with conversations. Cause I think that is probably what holds people up the most is that middle ground of like, okay, but I'm talking to her and then she's still asking questions and I don't know. And she's going to sign up on Friday, but I'm not sure like this is all normal stuff, but I really think where I see people kind of pull away from the pack and really start like leading and hitting goals and stuff, they've got systems down pat. So that's really what I want to share tonight. So thanks so much for being on the first Monday or the Monday before Christmas. You guys, I know this is a crazy week. It has been a minute since we've actually had like our own call because we did swaps with Rachel the last two weeks. So thank you for being on. We're going to do normal recognition, things like that, um, announcements, and then we'll get right into system. So my goal for this call is you walk away just feeling like, okay, like that's not too much. That's not overwhelming. I may not understand it all right now, but I'm going to show up tomorrow and do the things I need to do to move my business forward. Because I can tell you in six and a half years, I still don't know what I'm doing, but I do rely on my systems until certain systems don't work anymore. And then I switch it up. That's what owning a business is about. So if you're ready, let's get some little, this is what Josh goes always does. Let's get some jazz hands. Are we ready to get started? Are we ready? Okay, let's go. All right. Good to see everyone. Let me share my screen. And I'm going to keep recognition minimized for a second. Can you see that? Yeah. Okay. So of course we recognize success club, which is the building blocks of our business. This being December 21st, you guys do not discount. I'm going to be really honest. This week's probably going to be really quiet. Seriously. Like people are probably not going to talk. They're probably not going to be wanting to sign up right away which is why I'm going to talk about the value added message. I think it'll really help, but please do not discount next week. You guys, Christmas will be over like New Year's Eve. Okay, whatever. But people are now over Christmas and they're looking ahead to 2021. They know that January literally is hours away. And I have helped a handful of people every year between the week of between Christmas and New Year's like that week, right? Pre COVID, it was kind of this like vacation week where you didn't know what day was what. Um, now it kind of feels like that every day. But once people are through the Christmas actual holiday, something shifts and it's not Christmas shopping and it's not the stress of running around. So please do not discount the last week of the month and of the year. It can be crucial if you have been showing up. Um, but I'm at SC14, Sarah P at 14, Amanda at 12. Have to shout out Amanda too. She has hit Success Club every single month of since becoming a coach in July. Like she's really hit the ground running. It's so awesome. I mean, congratulations, Success Starter. But also she's just, she just shows up. She just does the work. She has the belief. She's experienced ups and downs in her business like everyone else. But I have to say like every month, this girl makes it happen. And that's super, super inspiring and exciting. Uh, Paige at 10, that is so exciting. Gabrielle, Tessa, what, new coach last month? Gabrielle, crushing it at eight points, double emerald as of today. Tessa at six and Kat at six. So all these ladies have officially locked in Success Club for December, just making sure they also have their 90 PV for their own orders as well. And Success Club four, which means you are like, on the verge, you are over standing right at the edge of the ledge. You are there, Crystal and Sarah H. You guys have just helped one more person before midnight on New Year's Eve, and you will lock in Success Club for December. Success Club two, you have helped one person, Brianna, Heather, and Megan. That's awesome. And also, know you guys, there's a rewards and prizes. Like we love Success Club, we talk about it all the time. But Beachbody also recognizes Success Club as a huge accomplishment. I mean, it, it is, it's an accomplishment, but they recognize that behavior repeated, right? So they just released the prizes for Success Club for 2021. 
And there's things like, I'm going to mess it up, but there's a camo hat, I think for your first month, there is a long sleeve t-shirt. There's, I, I'm not, if you guys remember what I said, I'm, I don't remember, but when you hit success club for 12 months in a row, you get Ray-Bans, like personalized Ray-Bans, which is pretty cool. Um, but Beachbody also recognizes those behaviors because they know what gets recognized gets repeated. And we know that what gets recognized gets repeated. So if you can continue to make this a non-negotiable goal, it's not only gonna benefit you and your business, you're gonna get some cool swag along the way, which is great. Uh, we are 91 in the network. I'm just holding on. I wanna end in the top 100. So anything that you guys can do, these next, what, 10 days of the year will be crucial to our rank as we end 2020. I'm already so proud that we have locked in a lead. We have locked in all these things I couldn't have even have fathomed in January. And I'm so proud of everyone that has helped us. But even just helping one more person, locking in Success Club, you know, rank advancing to Emerald, all those things are going to help us, whether I am your personally sponsored coach or not. So 10 days left in the month, I think. Do what you can, please do not just put it in your back pocket and pick it up in, on January 1. Because I would be so bold to say within like 48 hours, if you are not doing anything for your business, you are gonna lose momentum. And then it is gonna be that much harder to start again than if you would have kept going, even if you didn't keep going at massive action level, it's okay. All right, so let's get into announcements. Um, leadership Zooms, there are a little bit of tweaks there. So we have, a leadership Zoom that meets every Saturday morning. It's a mastermind. It's not like this. It's not a formal meeting. It's us talking and checking in about our week and just kind of like loving on each other and helping out. And I really, really enjoy it. We have taken away the double emerald requirement. Reason being, as long as you're achieving success club and bringing at least three new people in a month, you're going to grow your team. It's inevitable. Right. So we decided, I decided executive decision to take away the double emerald, because as long as you're doing that non-negotiable help three people, no matter what, this is my business, you're going to get access to leadership. You're going to get access to one-to-one -one meetings with me every week if you want it. And you're going to get access to the top, you know, 1% of the team that is making that goal happen month after month. So I would do everything you can to get access into that group. And the minute you achieve success club, you're added into the group message. You just have to achieve it every month to stay in the group message and in our leaderships, okay? We are also starting, we did this the last two months, Success Club monthly parties. So if you have achieved Success Club the previous month, we are gonna set up an event to have a party um, that next month. And on Thursday night, we did a really fun Christmas gift exchange with all the leaders that achieved Success Club in November. It was really fun. And we already started talking about what we'd want to do in January for our December success club achievers. We talked about trivia night or, you know, random stuff, but it's just fun to have fun. You know, this business is hard work, but when we work so hard, we deserve to have some time just to like hang out with each other. Uh, so that will continue. So if you achieve success club, not only do you get into our pod, you get into our Saturday mornings, you get into our monthly parties. The help to celebrate you, that is to help your team that is to help them. And I'm like totally redoing the coach on board because it's too complicated again. So to be announced in January, but I would go to all coaches that you have and ask if they would like to push to help two people. Because what that means is if they can help two people enroll as team members before December 31st, so by December 30th, they get access into our new year's party. It's gonna be the first week of January. Haven't set a time yet but we're going to do this like big call. It's going to be separate from our team call. So you have to be exclusively invited to it and it's going to be celebrating. It's going to be like talking about our why it's going to be bringing all the feels. And I'm going to give away some prizes during that zoom to celebrate all that we've accomplished as a team in 2020, but you need to help two people, two new people by December 30th, anyone. So anyone in the downline, doesn't matter if you're a current coach, Emerald diamond, whatever you are. If you bring on two team members by the 30th, because that's a Wednesday, you will be able to get our access to that call the first week in January. And that includes the people on your team. So I know a lot of times people get on the calls or get on teams and they're like, yeah, I want to work the business and they don't do anything, right? So maybe this is your time that you rally whoever you have signed this, who's still in your sponsorship drill down, they are still a coach. And you reach out and just be like, you know what? I really am going for this new goal of achieving a, a new year's party with my team. We have to help two people by the end of the month. Would you be willing to push for that for me, with me? 
I think a lot of you would be surprised as like what asking someone can do. This person might've been stagnant for months. And if you reach out and let them know that like, hey, I'm really pushing for this party. I think it'll be really cool. Do you think you wanna you know, have two people join nine week control freak with us and you would qualify as well? Like when we get less about the business lingo and more about, do you just wanna help people? That's what this is all about. So that will be the deadline is looming next Wednesday to help two new people to qualify for that party. And then our diamond retreat for March, total details to be announced, but is uh, December 30th as well. You must be a diamond coach and then hold that through January, hopefully increase, but at least hold your rank and then be able to get your official invite for our retreat. Um, and BOD groups, I'm not gonna spend a ton of time on that, but just suffice it to say that like, that's where we're going as a company. I mean, that's really where like, I resisted for six months, you guys. I started a BOD group in May and I hated it and I stopped and I went right back to Facebook because there were a lot of glitches. It was not cute. I'll be the first to admit that. I'm running a, a BOD only group this month and it's honestly been great. Like it's just streamlined. I can tell who's logging what. I can pin posts, I can schedule posts. Um, of course, some people say they prefer Facebook, but I'm like, you know what? In two months, no one's even gonna know the difference because I'm bringing new people in every month. You, There's gonna be stuff coming up in 2021 that like, you're just gonna need to get on board the BOD group train. Um, and I'm just saying that because I know like what, where corporate's going from what I've heard from other, some top coaches. So just know that if you have not jumped on the BOD group train yet, consider it. Because don't let what other people's opinions of what you do with your business affect you. You are the coach. If you say a group is going, going to change platforms, that's cool. It's going to change platforms. But even with Facebook, like you guys probably don't see half of my posts on our team page because of the algorithm. Like that's just what happens. But bod groups is a way to be off of social media, off of the algorithm and, and very streamlined. So we'll talk about that more as we head into the new year, but just keep that in mind. Okay, I wanna know, cause I'm gonna stop sharing in just a second, something you're proud of this month in your business. Drop it in the chat, take just a second, whether that's your own health journey or your consistency or something you've done that was out of your comfort zone. I wanna know because December is this like little demon sometimes that tries to tell us all our hard work was for nothing. And it's not true because we, know and trust the process. This is a time of year that people are not going to be as responsive. So I want to know, despite other people, which is what you absolutely cannot control, what are you proud of in your business? And I hope everyone on this call, whether you're, this is your first call or your one millionth, will drop something, even if it's just, hey, I've kept up with my program, because that's important. <clears throat> so I'll look at that in a second. Um, also, you guys, I am opening up a new team page as for 2021, because we have a lot of people in team glow. I would say probably less than 10% work their business, which is very normal. So what I, I heard from some other ladies in push elite that they start new team pages every year. And I thought that was kind of crazy. And then I thought about it. And I'm like, you know what? It's not crazy because I just want people in the team page that want to work their business. If they're a discount coach, they really don't have a need for all the stuff that I'm sharing in the team page. So as of next Monday, I will have a new group for you guys to request to join. Um, it's going to be Team Glow 2021. The Team Glow normal will stay open until like January until y'all have had plenty of time to change over. But that shows me like who's here, like who wants to work their business. And at least we're building this team of people that really do want to build a business. And it's not me just seeing the number in Team Glow and being like, wow, we've got a big team. When in reality, about 10% of people really show up. Um, so that'll be happening next week. And obviously if you're on this call, please join it because you want to work your business. Um, so stay tuned for that. You can still earn the Mary Lift Mist tank top for two reasons. Number one, if you go Emerald for the first time, you've never been an Emerald coach before, you go Emerald the first time and it's open to our entire downline, you get your tank top. Or two, if you are one of the top three success club point earning coaches, on a mistletoe mania team. Now, let me be really clear. We're not doing a winning team because the numbers people put up and Tessa, I think is gonna mention this in a second is not necessarily reflective of like what's actually happening, right? We're all on our own race. We all have different things that we need to accomplish in our business. 
but we want you to be on a team because you're going to show up way more than if you weren't on a team. And that's what like 99% of you have told me. So on December 31st, I'm going to look at the top three success club point earning coaches for December who are on a team and they get the tank top of the month, whether they're on this team, this team, this team, doesn't matter. Just the top three um, and, and locking in success club. So we're talking six or more. Okay. And then I asked Tessa to speak really quickly on um, just an update about mistletoe mania. And we talked a little bit today about things that I think everyone wants to hear and would really be helpful. Uh, maybe she'll share a little bit about reels too, because that's exciting. So I'm going to turn the time over um, to Tessa to explain a little bit more about our coach challenge and about reels. So take it away. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. So um, I know a bunch of y'all are loving our coach challenge that we've been doing. What is this month three that we're on? Um, and I'm really liking it, but I have noticed that it's some people are using it as another way to compare and comparison is not a good idea. Um, so I just want to come on here and say, um, kind of, I got this kind of from 2B mindset, um, me and the scale, we, I don't have a good relationship with the scale and with 2B mindset, you, you weigh yourself every day, but it's meant for data. It's data for yourself. So you know how you ate the day before and how you should, what you should change use this challenge as more of data for yourself. So if you look at your own numbers and if you're hitting your goals, then your numbers are good. If you're not hitting your goals, then you know where you need to increase and what you need to do. Do not compare them to other people because there are, it is really hard to do that. And I sometimes find myself doing it as well. Um, but I know that I'm hitting my goals. So I know I'm doing what I need to be doing. And if you find that you're not hitting your goals and we just need to take a look at what are you doing and what can we do to change to get to your goals. So I just wanna make sure that everyone knows like, please don't use this as another comparison. This is supposed to be fun. Um, I know for me, it's helped so much to have to have these numbers and put them down because I am intentionally working and I'm seeing, and for me it's data. So when I look at my week at the end and I see where my numbers are, I can tell has it been a good week or a bad week? And like success club obviously shows that as well. Um, but please just use it as this is for you. This is fun. Um, and notice like, are you putting in the work? That's basically kind of what this is for and just making it a little bit more fun and kind of like a competition, but not a competition on who has the highest numbers. So I just want to kind of throw that out there. Um, I know I needed to hear it. I tell myself it daily, like just don't even look at anyone's numbers and just, I usually, I'm the kind of person that looks at my numbers the next morning and fills out my tracker and puts it in. I don't even scroll and look at anybody else's numbers, y'all. I know my team tags me um, and we talk, but just, I recommend like, don't even pay attention. Like only look at yourself, what you've hit and go from there, use it as data. Um, the other thing I want to, oh, we are doing a team in January. I'll just throw that out there. We don't have details yet. I think we're going to start talking about it next week. Um, Ashley and I will be working on a name and um, depending on how many people want to join us, we will decide teams and stuff um, last minute, depending on how many we have. Um, and then I did want to talk about reels. I did go live in Team Glow but it was very, it was a very long live and it was very difficult to like show my phone and like do all these things. So um, I talked to Ashley and if anyone's interested, um, I was gonna do a Zoom um, next week sometime. So like after Christmas. Um, and if anyone like message me or like drop in the chat, if you're interested, I'll do a quick Zoom and anyone can get on. You can ask questions. Um, I'll kind of go over the basics, uh, but it'll just help if like you're there and you have your phone and I can like sh talk you through it. Cause on the live, I was like having to like try and like show my phone. And so it didn't really work, but this way, if anyone has questions along the way, um, you can ask them and I will record it so that um, you can go back and like watch it later. But I just wanted to see if there was, um, if people did want that, then I would schedule it for sometime next week um, in the afternoon so that I could get some people on. Um, just to talk about it. And okay, there is some, so I will, uh, I'll schedule it sometime next week and I'll let y'all know. And then um, we can go from there. But Instagram is literally like, 
reels is what, where they want it, like all their new stuff. And I think a lot of people are overcomplicating it. And so um, I just want to help you simplify it and just realize like, you don't have to overthink what you're doing in, in reels. It's very like, I don't know if any of you have been on TikTok, but TikTok is one, if one person comes with an idea and then everybody copies the idea. Reels is very similar to that. So like, we can talk more about it next week, but it's really like copying and like making yours better or like getting ideas from other people. It's literally meant for that. And I know like a coaching, we talk about like, don't like copy paste someone else's post and use it for your own, obviously, but like reels is just a very different beast than posting and anything else. But that's where a lot of the traction is coming right now because it's the new thing. And Instagram with their stupid algorithm, if you use reels, um, anytime I post reels, I have more story views as well. So um, I will schedule that next week sometime. Yeah. And this is honestly not just because we like are trying to be cute and waste time. Like this is legit. And I have been, I am Tessa can tell you, like, if there's a new thing, I'm like, uh, I don't want to, I don't want to learn that, but I've been watching reels. I've been seeing what people more successful than me are doing. And that is where people, more people are going to find you on Instagram. Um, and yes, sometimes you'll get weird middle schoolers and that's fine. But like, if you'd rather put up a reel or put up this like amazing post that was so great, but no one's going to read it. Well, you may as well put up a reel and get more people reacting to you. And then you have more opportunity to message people behind the scenes. And that's obviously more specific to Instagram, but I think the misconception is let's just waste time and create reels. But it's like, no, it's actually like a business thing. If we can get more people to view our stuff, we're going to have more people to talk to. Right. right. And so I just wanted to be like a one-time quick zoom so that everyone can have all their questions. They can ask them while I'm doing it. And I can just simplify it for you. So you're not having to like take the hours to like try and figure out what you're doing and making it complicated. Um, most of my reels that have the most views are like the stupidest thing that I could think of like dancing in front of the camera and eating cheesecake. Like, I think that's one of my highest views. I literally just danced and ate cheesecake. Um, so there was no planning. There was no nothing. I just picked a song, danced and ate my cheesecake at the same time. So I'm just telling you it's stupid, but it works. So Okay, Brian and I just did the reel I posted tonight. I we saw it. Five seconds. Like he was like, yeah. I don't want to practice. Let's just do it. Not that you have to have your husband or spouse or whatever. You can still do amazing ones on your own. But yeah. literally we did it in five seconds. And yeah. I promise you, I could have had the most encouraging Monday post. It's not going to get the reaction that him and I like flopping on the bed and getting back up is going to have. No. Not a real <laughs> so. Yeah. And they're like really stupid. Really, really stupid. stupid. Okay. We're all about puns. So this is going to be Sorry. really okay, fun. <laughs> Yeah, I have to type that in there. Okay. Thank you, Tessa. I think there is interest there because I think that we've obviously established that being something that can help our business. And we can also like, I think it's fun. It's my mid-afternoon breakup the day of like my vitals to be like, let me just go do something. Scroll for a minute on reels to get some inspiration because that's what I do. And then I just pick one I want to do. So um, awesome. Yeah. And Gabrielle's like a rock star at reels. If you go to her page, I think she does like every workout clip to reels because of <laughs> really smart because she's already talking about fitness and then it's a real, so go follow her for inspo. Um, all right. Thanks, Tessa. I'm going to get back to my slides and okay. You guys ready to dive into some simplification? This is not going to be like mindset. You can do it. I'll, I'll end with my inspiration, but like, I really just want to bring you guys simplicity. So that's what tonight's about. So let's just get right to it and let's, let's get really simple. Okay. Um, I think this is all my announcement. So plan, this is really quick, but just plan your fitness. Know what you guys are doing. You should have a plan. Like business should not be winged. We should know when our next group in January is starting. Obviously, I hope you're doing nine week control freak. Uh, I think a lot of us are starting January 4th. I'll be there until I'm in the hospital and then I will get back to it when I can work out again. But you still want to know, like you can't wing your business, right? So just plan your fitness. Okay. Um, Let's just start. Let's be really, 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 really real, R-E-A-L. And just, you don't have to type in the chat, but hypothetically answer this question. Are you making your job your journey right now? Really? Like, and I will tell you nutrition the last four days, please don't look at my 2B tracker because it was crap. We are at my in-laws. There's a lot of sweets. There's a lot of stuff going around. No, my nutrition has not been on point, but I am not letting that tank my, the rest of my business. I'm still tracking my food. I'm still following to be mindset. I'm just giving myself some grace. So there's a big difference between grace and giving like a lot of excuses to not do your work. 
right? So even this week, do your workouts, drink your shake, read your personal development, track your food, pick ultimate portion fix or to be mindset. Because when you lean in more to nutrition, you guys, your customers, your coaches, your new people coming in are going to feel that too. If you feel a little weird talking about nutri the nutrition piece and you only ever talk about the fitness piece, that's where you're going to get way more objections about Shakeology and about nutrition in general. When we're in reality, we should be coaches who advocate for nutrition, who also you get to have a bonus workout and that's awesome. Nutrition is the name of the game. So the more you get on it and the more you actually look in the mirror, like you guys, I do not follow to your mindset hundred percent. Obviously I just had fudge before this call, but like you need, I will go out and be so bold as to say, you need to be watching some, at least one of those videos a day. You need to be learning about nutrition. You need to be tracking your meals because that is going to go hand in hand with the rest of your success as a coach. Okay. So the, so I named this system to simplify this first slide here is your routine. So is your morning routine solid? That does not mean perfect because perfect doesn't exist. Do you do most of the things most mornings of the week? which means do you get up? Do you do something for your mind? Some of y'all work out in the morning. Some of you don't, whatever. It just matters that you are getting your mind primed for the day. You are getting yourself primed. You feel good before you even open your social media. That's what I mean. So having a solid morning routine is so key. Um, scheduled, not winged work time because every day is going to be different. But if you have bl a block of time, which I know all of us do, whether that block may be 30 minutes or two hours, you have that time. That's your work time. You might get bonus pockets of time throughout the day when like you're waiting in line somewhere or your kid is at a sporting event or whatever it may be. I like to call that bonus work time. It's like, cool, I wasn't really planning for this, but let's work a little bit. But your non-negotiable time is minimum 30 minutes where you can sit and work. I don't care if you're working from your computer. I don't care if you're working from your phone. That's your time. It's not where you're also trying to get your kid ready for school or listen to a training or get yourself ready for work. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about minimum 30 minutes for you to do nothing but focus on your business. Do you have that? Do you schedule that? Because if not, you can get to the end of the day and be like, I did nothing. So now I'm overwhelmed and now I'm going to probably do nothing tomorrow. And it becomes very quick spiral of I haven't done anything in three days. It's just easier to, to not do anything. And then to say this business is hard, right? And I'm telling you, I'm just bringing the real talk tonight because this is the week of Christmas. We need some real talk. Um, so you need to look in the mirror and think like, I don't have to do, be perfect. I don't have to do this seven days a week, but do most of the time, do I have a, a block of time that I can work my business? Bonus work time, I think always needs to be spent in the inbox. I think that's where you continue to catch up with messages. You send new invites, you send new messages, whatever that may be, that's bonus, that's awesome. My creative time is more of my couple days a week, maybe on a weekend day where I think, okay, how can I help the team? Let me play around with the reels. I really wanna recreate this graphic, so let me do that now. That is not done in my vital behavior time. As much as I would like to zone out and be like, Oh, look at this pretty template. I'm going to edit it and make it my own. I would love to do that all day long, but that's not going to build my business. So a couple of days a week, I have time that's strictly like, okay, what do I want to accomplish in terms of creativity? So on my phone, in my notes section, I have the words brain dump. And anytime I hear something from a train that I'm like, Ooh, maybe I should do that. The old Ashley would have stopped that training, gone to try to figure it out. It's been an hour. She's overwhelmed. And now she's stressed out new Ashley 2020 version. Uh, she watches the training. She gets inspired. She has a couple takeaways and she just puts it down in her notes section. So it's not going to be forgotten, but it's going to be something that I would want to come back to when I have the creative time to come back to it. If that makes sense. Things like, Hey, I'd really like to understand how to do automated emails, which is something I wanted to do a couple months ago. I learned to figure it out in creative time. Hey, I want to do reels. They're kind of annoying me, but I really need to figure it out. That was something I had to do in creative time, not take away from my non-negotiables in business. Okay. Stop the scroll. Hashtag stop the scroll. Please don't scroll your Instagram feed, your Facebook feed. That's not the best way to find new people to engage with. Number one, because Facebook only shows you and Instagram only shows you like 10% of your whole network. But number two, that is like, there's going to be studies I know that come out with this. 
Scrolling is linked to comparison. Scrolling is linked to feelings of inadequacy. Scrolling is linked to thinking you're working your business and then you're knee deep in someone's album from 2010 and you're like, what did I even do, right? This girl's life is amazing. Look at her makeup. And it's just this silly thing that we don't need to include in our business. Our social media is our business front. So when I say don't scroll, what I mean is we have to be engaging with our network. And really, if we're connected to someone, we should be reaching out to them. And if not, we shouldn't be connected to them because otherwise, what are they doing, right? So on Instagram, what I like to do is go through both my followers and who I'm following. And you can type in who you're following. You can um, sort that from the earliest or the most recent. You cannot do that with your followers, but you can go to your followers and type in a letter of the alphabet, like S. And then everyone who follows you who starts with S is gonna come up. So the alphabet way is a really great way to engage with people in your 20 minutes of time that you have to engage, right? After your inbox has been responded to and all that. Um, from Facebook, I go to my messenger. So it's super easy of a messenger. I don't know for anyone else, my messenger has been like really lagging and it's really annoying for my phone lately. But if I type in the letter A, for example, it will populate every single Facebook friend I have whose first name starts with A or whose last name starts with A. And then when you can go through that scroll, you're not scrolling the feed, you're scrolling names. So you can click on a name that takes you directly to that, the inbox with that person. If you've never messaged them, great opportunity to send a value added message, which I'll talk about on the next slide. Or if you're like, I would never message this person, then why are you friends with them? Audit your social media right there and like unfriend, it's all good. Because if you're never going to message this person, it's not worth keeping them on your, your uh, Facebook account, right? So those are two ways that I scroll intentionally as opposed to just scrolling. Now, I did tell you I scroll reels, but I scroll reels to find my inspiration to do a reel. So if it's been like five minutes and I'm still scrolling, I'm done. Otherwise, I send it to Brian or I send it to whatever to like save the reel. And that's the only time I actually scroll. Uh, and I just told you guys the alphabet method for connecting and inviting. If you have any questions on that, please drop in the chat. Uh, I know several of my coaches do this too. So really it's just about engaging with your network. We grow our network through adding friends, following new accounts, but so many of you guys have not even tapped into the entirety of your current network. It's really important to do that. Okay, here is the thing. We're gonna talk about systems to simplify in messaging. You have to believe you're a good coach, you guys. You have to believe that selling you to yourself is the hardest sale you're going to make. If you doubt yourself, no one's going to join you on this journey. Like you literally have to be like, you know what? I can't control anyone else in the world, but I'm a good coach. And I know that I show up for me. So that's enough. And people will join me or they won't. But like that's enough for me because I'm the best coach I can be for me. And when you, tr not just when you say that, when you truly believe that, when you look at what you've accomplished since being a coach in your health and your wellness and your mindset, you will start attracting people who want to be around you because you want to be around you. So please like take a minute and be like, do I actually trust myself? Cause I can't, I can't get so down in the dumps when Sally doesn't complete her share card because I know I showed up for me today. I didn't show up for Sally. I showed up for me. So you have to really, really look in the mirror and do a gut check. Do you believe that you're a good coach to you? I am finding that coaches are spending way too much time in the middle zone of conversations, meaning like they start a conversation, they're asking questions, someone comes back, there's an objection, they're going back. And then at the end of the day, you spent two hours with someone on one combo and you're drained. That's not what we wanna do. I wanna be very clear. We're not taking the humanness out of connection. We're being very intentional about how to run a conversation effectively, okay? Here's how we do that. First off, you have to know what you're inviting to. You guys should already know the date your January group starts. You should already have a marketing plan. If you don't, it's as simple as like two things on a notebook paper about what you're going to focus on in January. I'm launching nine week control freak starting January 4th. Guess what I'm doing two weeks from January 4th, second launch, because I'm going to have people that have had these workouts already. I'm going to have people that are coming off of the new year ready for a change, but not quite by January 4th. So already, I already know that January for me is still nine week control freak. It's still January 4th, a group of us start and January, what's two weeks from that, whatever it is, that's my second wave of getting people enrolled 
to start in February. So that's as simple as, I think we hear marketing plan and we're like, hang on, hang on, what's going on? Like that's a marketing plan right there. So my whole stories and posts and my breadcrumbs and all that stuff is about nine week control freak. Plus I'm going to get the best results that I can. Granted, I'm a little different than y'all with giving birth in a month, but I'm still going to do it. And I'm going to modify the crap out of it. And then that's going to be the program that I come back with when I'm cleared to exercise um, at my intensity postpartum. So for you all that are not giving birth in January, get the best freaking results from nine week control freak that you possibly can. Emily Favre, the crap out of nine week control freak. If you don't know who that is, she's like number three coach. She went from a diamond coach two years ago to 15 star diamond in three months because she rocked 80 day obsession. Like her life depended on it. It was not because she all of a sudden learned reels and blew up her Instagram. She rocked her journey so hard that people wanted to, to do what she was doing. So you can be that person with nine week control freak. When you go all in, that's not just the workouts. You can't work out for 18 minutes a day and eat crap and get results. You have to go in on the nutrition, but if you do it, what could happen for you? when the rest of the world is now looking at health and fitness. Okay, I digress. Just know what your month looks like. Files section. I think if someone can confirm this, I think the phones have been acting up. If you click on files in the team page, I don't know if they're working yet, but I do know if you have a computer, which I hope everyone has access to some kind of computer or tablet or laptop, go to the file section in team low. It's now under like a drop down, and you will see convo flows. These convo flows, I have personally edited. I got them from a coach friend of mine. I edited them to make sense for me. And that's what I posted in the, in the file section. What I would do if I were you is I would copy all of that. First off, I would email it to yourself. So you can have all that that you can access from your phone or anywhere. And then I would copy some of the most important things that stick out, like the initial message. If they want more info, what you say from there. All that's nine week control freak, but there's also another convo flow that's just a general convo flow. But I'm telling you all of January, I'm still gonna be on the nine week control freak bus. So I'm gonna pick out the top things that I'm gonna most frequently say to people. And I'm gonna put that in my note section of my phone. Cause right now I hate to say it, but I'm working more from my phone cause I don't like how Facebook updated their interface. Because of that, I don't get overwhelmed with sending a bunch of messages because I have a plan. It's called a plug and chug. If they want more info, I know what to say. If they are just following me back or liking my post or watching my story for the first time, I know what to say. Um, please look at the convo flows and make them your own. Copy them, take them with you on your phone, in your pocket, so you know how you can very easily respond to a message to someone. Like I said, notes on my phone is everything. So the other things I have on the notes section on my phone is if someone is a new follower, like I said, or a new post liker or a new story viewer, what I have started doing is sending what's called a value-based message. So before, you know, we call them connection messages if they're not invites, right? And normally I'm like, hey, I'm Ashley. Here's where I'm from. Thanks for following me. What I have done now is made that a value added message. So what I mean by that is you don't have to worry about anything about landing pages or opt-ins. Don't even think about that, but I have a meal plan and you guys probably have seen me send these meal plans. I can send them to you in one second. I don't create them. So don't worry. They're all good because I can't cook, but I say, Hey, I'm Ashley. Thanks for following me. I've got a meal plan to say, thanks and Merry Christmas. You can snag it here. So while I have an opt-in page, don't worry about it. You can simply say, Hey, I have this. If you want to send me your email, I can send it right over to you. By the way, I'm from X, Y, and Z. Where are you from? Because when you give someone something for free right in the beginning, they already trust you more than just a girl in their inbox. And that's something I'm learning from my push elite group. So the easiest thing to do that I would recommend, especially as you're going through your Facebook messenger to reconnect with people is like, Hey, it's been a minute. I know this is random, but I just created a, a meal plan that is I'm really liking. And I just wondered if you wanted it, send me your email. If you do Merry Christmas, what are you doing this season? Because if someone's not going to respond to that, it's cool. Most people won't, but don't we, wouldn't we rather drop into someone's inbox with something to give them that's going to make you feel less like I'm just trying to send these messages just because, right? And that has been working so well for me. So number one, if you need something to give away, message me. I've got a whole bunch of meal plans. I'll send your way in two seconds. And number two, type out a template in the notes section of your phone. 
because the minute you got to follow back or someone new, or you're scrolling your Facebook messenger and you don't know what to say to someone, you send that, you give them something, you say happy holidays and you ask about their holiday season because that is filling the bucket of people. I can tell you, I spent an exorbitant amount of money to have Josh Coates as my push coach for six months, but you know why I did? Because for two years, I was getting his, his added value emails. I was tuning into his webinars. I was doing his mini challenges. And then when it was this big ask of push elite, I applied for it because I trusted him. And that's not to say everyone's going to take two years to sign up, but that is to say, if you can create a message that's going to give right off the bat, people already like you way more than if you're just sending a, Hey girl, what's up? Thanks for following me type of message. Cool. If you have any questions about that, please drop it in the chat. Let's talk about managing your customers. Now, for some of you brand new coaches, you might have zero to one. Cool, that's really easy for you to manage. But for some of you who have built up a group and a team, it can feel like, am I talking to them enough? So here's my systems for that. I, first off, if they're still a prospect and they're not yet a coach or customer, I only set an actual follow-up schedule. I have a, an online tracking system. You can use your phone. I only set a follow-up once we're actively in the inviting process, which again, goes back to the convo flows. I use those flows myself to walk through an invite. And if I'm talking to this girl tonight, I'm going to go to bed soon. I'm not working the rest of the night. I just want to make sure I follow up with her tomorrow. Otherwise with these initial messages and these initial, whatever, I don't set a follow-up because they probably won't respond to me and that's fine, <laughs> but I'm at least going to feed into them. And it's less that I have to do behind the scenes. I highly recommend designating one day of the week for personal check-ins with all your coaches and customers. For me, and you can see in the team page, we do follow-up Friday. So that's where all my customers are gonna get a personal message from me. In, and in the BOD group, if you don't run one yet, you can personally message participants from the BOD group. So every Friday, I'm gonna message them, be like, hey girl, here's my little survey. Could you fill this out? Let me know how your week's going. If you don't have a survey, then don't have one. Just ask them how their week is going. But that way you can feel like you're not having to check in with them daily, but especially whether they're showing up in the group atmosphere or not, one day a week, if you're in their inbox asking what you can do to support them, guess what? You're doing enough. Same thing with your coaches. Hey, how's it going? Your coaches, guys, 99.9% .9 of your coaches probably don't work their business. So your job is to make sure they are getting results in their health and fitness journey. And the thing is you can't make them do anything. So your job is to simply check in and ask where you can support them. And also plant the seed of working their business and helping two people. More of that's gonna come in January with simplifying that onboarding process. But if every Friday you're checking in with all your people who trusted you as, your co as their coach, guess what? You're fine, you're doing enough. Some people don't participate. Some people buy a challenge pack and ghost you. Some coaches will tell you they wanna work their business and never do a lick of work. That's called human nature. Don't get mad about it. Just know that you're doing enough and you're gonna keep growing your team and growing your customers. Have emails ready to send new coaches and new customers. Again, the files, it'll literally say new customer email, nine week control freak email, new coach email, which is gonna be updated in 2021 to be super simple, but you don't have to reinvent the wheel. Just make sure that your customers and coaches are getting info from you and you are staying in contact with them and helping them get started. And then coach onboarding, like I said, I'm simplifying in 2021. If you have someone who is interested in their business, the worst thing you can do is overtrain them, which I have learned from being stuck trying to overtrain people. So I would say, which we're going to talk more about this next month, their first 30 days, their job is their journey. They need to post daily and invite their friends and family. My only goal for a new coach is help one person in your first month get started the way that you got started. And that's where all the simplicity is coming from. What I found was when new coaches get on board and do help people in their first 30 days, they are way more likely to want to keep going with the business activities, even if it's slow, because they've actually helped one person, brought them in, earned some commission, and now they're excited. Now this is a business as opposed to just an idea. So more of that to come later on. Okay. And this is the last one for the simplicity. Like this is simple. Success is boring. If you would follow me around, you'd be like, she does the same thing five days a week. Yes, because success is boring. But even when I was working other jobs and really wanting to do this as my main job, I had to be working and focused in the time that I had. Um, 
Josh Coates, my business coach, always talks about this equation, consistency plus intensity plus belief plus time equals anything that you want in life. I'm going to say that again. Consistency in your behaviors. Intensity, are you bringing the right energy to those behaviors? Belief, do you believe you're worthy of being a good coach? Time, everyone's favorite, right? Time, we can't just do things for 30 days and wonder why it's not working. Time equals anything that you want in life in the long run. That's true. It's so true. I shared a post on our team page today that I wrote six years ago when I was an Emerald coach and I was just like maybe five months into success club. Um, and I'm like, I'm going to do this. Like I'm going to show up and do the work every day because it was that meaningful to me. I did not have an upline that was telling me to do it. Although I love my upline. I did it for me. Cause so I wasn't going to go anywhere. I wasn't going to be like, let me just see how, what this goes. I'm not giving up. I don't think those words ever came out of my mouth. Cause like what, what was going to be the option? I either like do this or I don't do this, but it wasn't an ultimatum. It wasn't a, let me see what's going to happen. It's a red flag to me when coaches say like, well, I'm not quitting, but I'm, I'm like, Oh, <laughs> but that probably means you are because it just has to be like, if you are, you know, whatever it's like, some people say, if they're married, divorce is not even on the table. Right. For some people, not judging everyone's marriage for me not being my best self is not on the table. Like I, this business raises me up to be my best self. It's not on the table to walk away from it. And I had that belief in 2014 as an Emerald, just like I do now as someone who can provide for my family with this business. My numbers personally are 20 connections, 20 invites, five days a week. You don't have to answer this, but what are yours? And the reason I say that is have numbers whether it's 10 and 10, five days a week. Cool. I think that's something we can all realistically say is not insanely overwhelming, 10 new messages and 10 invites. But if you did that for 30, 60, 90 days, we would have data to look at. We would know, is this working typically for your network? If you are consistent at least five days a week at the numbers you set, we will have information to go off of. Because then it might be you're talking to enough people, you're just in a crap headspace all the time. So your numbers don't really matter. You need to work on your mindset. Or it could be that your numbers are good and you're just getting started. So you need to keep doing this. And if you're running out of people to invite, well, that means we got to engage more, right? Um, there's always an answer. So know what yours are and do not compare. Like Tessa was saying, don't compare. You have no idea what's going on with people behind the scenes. You don't know. So do not look at anyone else's numbers as opposed to anything else besides cool. That girl showed up. Awesome. I'm going to show up for me and my lane. If you're not at Success Club Six or more right now, then you need to be doing more to up your belief and in intensity, right? If you've been consistent for those 30, 60, 90 days so far, and you don't have anyone that has said yes to something that is way cheaper than a Peloton or a nutritionist or a Lululemon mirror, then we need to think about, do I believe that I'm a great coach for me? Because then I get excited to help other people. And if you're holding your breath for someone, you will run out of air, please. I know there are unicorns out there, but I will go to say every time someone has said they'll sign up on Friday or payday or whatever, nine times out of 10, do not sign up for me. So I'm not going to hold my breath for someone that's probably not ready. Evaluate what is working for you after 90 days. Okay. I think that's kind of the magic number. All right. Two minutes of inspo, then we're done. Are we ready? This is just thoughts that I had. So what are you waiting for? And what are you fighting for? Like no one's coming to save us no new president, no whatever, like insert whatever happened in 2020. No one's going to be here to save us. We are here to create our own futures and save ourselves. So if you haven't gone, like, and I, I don't even like the word all in because I feel like that means I work 24 hours a day. No, but if you haven't gone mentally all in to be like, if she can do it, why not me? What are you waiting for? And if you keep telling yourself, I'm going to do it, but then I'm also going to type in the mistletoe mania about why I didn't show up today. We're, we're not there yet, right? Because I think the reason that I and the couple leaders on this team that have really seen success this year, we don't really even think about typing in an excuse because we're just going to do it or it's a day that I'm not working. Because if you just went to your job on the days that you felt like it, how many days a week would you go to your job? Zero. <laughs> Season six. Right. But we think about that the same reason we think about our business, but our business doesn't fire us if we don't show up. But in reality, the average person in a corporate job works 40% of their day. 
So I get it. I understand that it's extremely hard to show up for yourself for someone who's not knocking on your door and watching you clock in. But what are you waiting for? Y'all are on this call because you want more out of life. So when are you going to get over the hump of that? This isn't, this just isn't for me. I can't do this to, if this person can do it, I can do it. Give me anyone, any reason you think you can't be successful. And I will show you someone that has created success in even dire situations than that. That's it. Success comes to those willing to work and unwilling to make excuses. Success comes to those who lean in the week of Christmas when everyone else leans away. This is not easy, but it is simple. Get Mo, if you're a perfectionist, tattoo this on your arm. Good enough to move on. No one is perfect. Do not overthink your conversations. Have your templates. You've just got to keep your foot on the gas and do the things. And I said this a couple of weeks ago in a live video, but like I can predict who's going to be crushing it six months from now. A pretty good idea. I also know leaders are going to come in in January, February that I didn't see coming that are going to like rock our world. And I cannot wait for them to join the team. But the reason I know people are going to be here six months from now or not is because they have a conviction as opposed to simply a want to work their business. The conviction means no matter what, I'm going to do my non-negotiables. For me, that's five days a week. It might be different for you. Conviction is this means so much to me. There's not a plan B. I'm going to do this until I can get to where I want to go. And then I'm going to keep doing this. Conviction is I had a really crap day and I did nothing tomorrow. I'm not even going to justify it with an excuse. I'm just going to show up tomorrow and prove to myself that I didn't put this business on the back burner. All I did and all I do is lead by faith and lead by example. Cause I can't make you guys do anything at all. I want you to, but even if I came to your house, you might work harder for one day. What happens when I leave? It's you, right? So I don't think we're going to end 2020 in the top 50 and that's cool. I just want to see how close we can get. Um, going Emerald, holding Emerald, pushing for Diamond. If you're someone who wants to push for that retreat for in one week, some of you are super close, help at least one person stay active on your product. And let's just end this year really proud. Okay. So if I had to recap, get out of your own dang way. If anyone on this planet has figured out how to be a successful beach body coach and some coaches who are super successful, I'm like, she's super successful. I'm just kidding. Everyone's great. But if you, you know that you can see so many personalities and so many different ways of doing things, why not you? There's not a stamp that someone put on your forehead that said, you can't, you're going to be mediocre. Cause that's what I thought my stamp said for three years. And then I got over myself. I just work really, really hard and really intentionally. And then I unplug and I recharge when I need it on the weekends and the evenings. I know I can come back hundred percent if I give myself that time. I just never let that time turn into a leisurely vacation because I haven't earned that. Okay. All right. Any questions, you guys? I'm going to stop the recording.